Okay, so this is video one in a series of videos where I show you how to send and receive SMS using a SIM 800C module. This thing on the bottom right, that's the SIM module. It has an aerial on it and it is connected to the Raspberry Pi. But that red blink, that's an error showing. That is because I don't yet have a SIM card in this module. But in this first video, I will demonstrate how to get this far where you have the SIM connected to the Raspberry Pi and you can access it through the console. Okay, so my Raspberry Pi here is connected. If you see the pink cable on the left, it's already connected to Ethernet. So I can connect to that Raspberry Pi and I'm connected to it right now. And you can see that on the screen. If I write host name control, I'm using a Raspberry Pi, Raspberry and Buster. Okay. Now to look at the wiring. That's a Raspberry Pi on the left and that's the SIM 800C version 2 module. I'm powering the SIM module with 5 volt. These pins that I'm using on the Raspberry Pi are the 5 volts, the ground, the GPIO 14 and GPIO 15. If you look at the diagrams of most Raspberry Pis, those pins are in the same location. It doesn't matter which model you're using. Okay, so 5 volts I've connected to the VCC in on my SIM module. Ground is going right around to ground. You can either connect to that ground if you want to. It's the same regardless. GPIO 14 transmit is connected to the receive or the RXD on the SIM 800C. And GPIO 15 RXD is connected to the TXD on the SIM 800C. This is my wiring that I have on my current system that you see here. Now before you can send and receive messages from the device, you need to set up the Raspberry Pi to be able to use the GPIO 14 and 15 pins with your device. These pins are also known as the primary UART pins. By default, those pins are assigned to the Linux console. So you can actually connect your Raspberry Pi through those pins using a serial cable. Since we want to use those two pins, we need to reconfigure Raspberry Pi. So enter the Raspberry config prompt. So sudo Raspberry, okay. Number five, interfacing options. We need to enable disable serial there. So enable disable shell and kernel message. Would you like a login shell to be accessible over serial? Select no. Would you like the serial port hardware to be enabled? Press yes. Okay. And then we should restart. Pseudo reboot now. Very good. Okay, so I've logged back into my Raspberry Pi. Another thing you might need to do is to sudo system control disable HCI UART. This will depend on which version of Raspberry Pi you have. Also note that you may need to disable Bluetooth as well or select Mini UART Bluetooth. I didn't need to do that, not with my version B Raspberry Pi. Okay, so the next thing is I'm going to use a program called Minicom to connect to the module, but I'm going to need to install it first. So sudo apt install Minicom. I already have Minicom installed, but you may not. So it's all good for me. Now I can run Minicom. Clear. Sudo Minicom. This is the device. TTYAMA0. If we look at this page, this Raspberry Pi documentation page, it says here, device TTYAMA0. This is the one I'm connecting to. Okay, so board rate 115200. Press enter. Okay, so I'm in Minicom now. Now I can just type A, T. Now control M. Don't press enter, press control M and that will put in a carriage return. I get an OK response from the SIM module there. So another one, A, T, I, control M. It says SIM 800 R14.18. So I'm connected to the SIM module via the Raspberry Pi there. Now, some of the problems you might experience are you get some message responses like login incorrect, 
or password incorrect. That means that you didn't do the Raspberry config properly, where you didn't change the serial settings so that you turned off the login shell. If you don't turn the login shell off, you start getting these responses through the existing transmit and receive pins. Another one is when you're typing a text into the console here in Minicom, I can press A or T. Right now it's actually displaying that. Occasionally it doesn't show anything, but just enter it anyway and press Control M and hopefully you'll get a response for OK. If you're not seeing what I'm seeing, your TX and RX pins might be swapped the wrong way. Again, to look at that diagram, this is my wiring diagram. 5 volt ground TXD connected to RXD and RXD is connected to TXD. Let's transmit and receive. Excellent. In the next video, I'll put a SIM card into the module and we'll see what we can get. Excellent. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and share.